Hello everyone, and welcome back to Copy Stories. Mysterious Antarctica, the only continent that ancient geographers put on maps long before its discovery in 1820 by Bellingshausen and Lazarev. There is a whole hypothesis where it is said that the development of civilization on Earth began with Antarctica, one of the main places of power of our planet, and the Antarctians themselves were the founders of Egyptian, Babylonian, Chinese, and other civilizations. Polar night, polar day, dormant and active volcanoes, subglacial lakes, pyramids abandoned in the snowy desert, and many other things that, it would seem, should attract the attention of thousands of scientists there. But, for some reason, this continent is the most protected territory, where not everyone is not given to take and fly so freely. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and today we will fly somewhere. Antarctica Mysteries, Watchtower. In early 2001, Norwegian scientists of the South Polar Station, Amundsen Scott, discovered in the depths of the Antarctic continent quite an unusual structure. At a distance of 160 kilometers from Mount McClintock, there was a strange tower, the origin and purpose of which threw more mysteries into the piggy bank of scientists. The 28-meter high structure was more like a watchtower, but the most interesting thing is that it was built from hundreds of ice blocks. In all probability, all this time the tower was hidden inside giant snowdrifts, and to the eyes of researchers, it appeared after powerful hurricanes cleared it of snowdrifts. Scientists are still puzzling over this mystery. Three main questions keep them wondering. Who could have built this tower? What is its purpose and how long has it been standing? A passage to the underworld or a UFO base? A famous virtual archaeologist from the USA, Joseph Skipper, discovered in Antarctica a passage to the underworld who is this Joseph? Well, all right, he became known to the world thanks to his unusual internet project where he collects various anomalous information. Very often, the questions that Skipper asks on his site stump the skeptics used to deny the existence of other slash extraterrestrial civilizations. So the strange hole discovered by Skipper is located in the mountains of Antarctica and is clearly visible on satellite images. Not far from the Puerto Passage, lies an object that very much resembles a kind of icy flying saucer. There are versions that in the depths of the ice continent is a base of aliens from other civilizations. There is also an assumption that the US stationary satellite over Antarctica is searching and suppressing radio frequency information related to UFOs. Portal to Parallel Worlds Near the southeastern shore of Lake Vostok, located who is not aware at a depth of 340 meters under the ice, researchers have discovered an electromagnetic anomaly. After a series of measurements, the equipment showed that the mysterious source of electromagnetic waves is just under the ice, not underground. Some researchers of paranormal phenomena believe that to emit such waves can be some device located there, mechanical non-natural origin. This has given rise to another hypothesis that in Antarctica there are so-called portals to parallel worlds, another dimension, or entrance to the underworld, hypothetically inhabited by intelligent beings. There are assumptions that it was such an entrance, in his time, was looking for the same American Admiral Richard Byrd. In 1955, 67-year-old Admiral Byrd made another mysterious flight to Antarctica. Russian researcher Evgeny Butenko talked about excerpts from Admiral Byrd's diary published in an Italian journal by Dr. Costantino Paglialunga. These passages were allegedly kindly provided by his daughter. According to this text, as Admiral Byrd's plane flew over the South Pole, at one point, he was forcibly grounded. Further from his words, the blondes escorted me to a flowery valley where it was quite warm and sunny, clear rivers gurgled and fruit trees blossomed. This was the civilization of the inner cavity of the globe. Thousands of years ahead of our civilization, people read the thoughts of others moved instantly in space and possessed anti-gravity. From the memoirs of Admiral Byrd. So who were these people? Was it possible that they were the Atlanteans? And were they even there? Feel free to write your guesses in the comments below this video. Dear friends, please support this video with likes and comments. Thank you. Take care and see you in the next video. Bye.